here we are with the last of the Owl House episodes for now. It's been a fun ride, and for those of you who've subscribed because of it, I hope you stick with me. I've got many, many more things planned, as well as getting into some of the released shorts. And sharing my thoughts on the series as a whole up until now. So remember to hit that like button, and if you're new here, subscribe. So let's go. With the curse continuing to worsen, it seems that I was right. The potion that Ida is using to keep it at bay is starting to fail more and more. To the point that it only partially stops her transformation right now. But hey, that's good for King because it means he gets his own personal warhound. Something to help him accomplish his mission of vengeance upon those that have wronged him. To take his rightful place as King of the Playground. And our dear Luz, as part of her first school activity, is attempting to see a game between the Hexide and their rivals, Glandis. Surprisingly, her outfit actually matches the school colors of their rivals, so I'm expecting this to lead into some outfit changes when the show comes back from hiatus. With Ida out of commission, Luz takes Albert out for a ride, which, because of her carelessness, leads to some injuries for our little palisman, as well as a reunion with the Bat Queen. And while this is going on, King learns that having his own minion doesn't always work out very well. It seems that the episode really is showing that both of these characters really can't handle pets. As someone who usually really isn't in for all of these lore dumps and prefers to focus on the character development itself, even I was surprised at how interested I was with figuring out what's going on with the Bat Queen. Okay, she was a familiar. Who's familiar was she? Are they still around? What's going on with that? And if she actually has children, does that mean that all Palismans are actually alive? I know that I know that Albert was made, but is he a living creature also? I thought he was more like an animated golem of some kind. We learn that Ida, even if she's halfway into her curse form, can be forced back into her natural state without the potion, though I think that has to do with the limited effects of it eventually just working enough to help her get back there. As for Luz, once more her lack of thinking things through and a tiny bit of selfishness on her part causes problems. She's a good kid, she and her friends are all good kids, but they're also quite a bit self-centered. But anyway, things work out, Albert and Luz have a close connection after this, and that's good. We all want to see the little owl happy. And with everything that's going on in the world, it's good to have some fun shows to sit back and relax with, to see characters grow, change, and to just have something, you know, that's nice. So I hope you come back and we can have some fun watching these changes. I'll see you guys for my retrospective on the season as a whole so far, and for some other videos. Until next time, this is Boy saying, take care, and bye bye